All right, so something I've been wondering about is like, are we in the middle of a geopolitical shift, right? So like, you know how we're supposedly the um, dominant power in the world, right? Uh, if you look at the news, like in a lot of places, they're saying that we are actually uh, losing our number one spot in the world. So like, why are we considered number one? First of all, um, we dominate culturally. I mean, really, the only reason we're considered number one is because we dominate culturally, uh, economically, and militarily. And um, there are only really a, f a handful of countries that are actually capable of um, competing with us on that level. So... Really, our main competitor now would be, obviously, China. Russia doesn't really... Um, Russia is, you know, sort of is behind both the U.S. and China economically and uh, culturally. So it's not likely that they'll, um, they'll... They'll be number one. But... Um, they do have the edge over China militarily, but they're not really effective, you know, as we've seen with with Ukraine. So, um, someone that I think is, or a country that I think is really, you know, overlooked for the number one spot is um, India. Because India actually has, um, I think now, they actually overtook China as the world's most populated country. And um, they're also the world's uh, fourth largest military. So, um, and they're, they're pretty big rivals with China. And I think that they would want to, that would incentivize them to compete with China for the number one spot. But I mean, the only thing they really have going for them. Actually, they have a lot going for them. First of all, like I said, they're the fourth largest um, military in the world, and um, they they have more people. And also, um, their population pyramid is more stable than China's. And so, not only do they have more people, and I'm not sure if that's right, but I'm pretty sure they overtook China. But let's say, like, I'm pretty sure they have more more people and I'm pretty sure that um, they actually have like their population is also younger and that's crucial it's very crucial but you know, one of the major areas they're sort of lacking in is their geography right so they're actually smaller than the US they have less land than China obviously Russia and that's something I forgot to mention, is that not only is Russia um, the second largest, um, or the second most powerful, I guess, military in the world, they also have the most land, and with that comes a lot of resources, which I guess they could ex uh, export maybe make some money off of, but I don't really think that would make them um, the number one economy overnight. But, um, I mean, like, these are all contenders, right? I mean, the U.S. could maintain its, um, the number one spot. And if it loses it, I, I think they could, or we, I think we could get it back. Um, but, like, even if we do lose our number one spot, I don't think it's going to throw us off very, uh, very extremely.